Welcome viewers. Welcome to Royal City. Prince Harry challenged the Queen in a hilarious video to eat Dunner kebab, and she tried it. In this video we explain everything. But if you're new to my channel, take a moment to hit the red subscribe button below and activate the notification bell to get the latest updates. When we think of the actual diet, we tend to picture the meeting delicious food prepared by a private chef. However, the queen is known for enjoying a quick meal from time to time, and she prefers fish and chips. It was previously reported that while staying at her home in Balmoral, Scotland, she ordered her favorite local fries with a traditional British meal and picked up her legs. However, Melondon reports that of Her Majesty the Queen once tried to eat a kebab after Prince Harry dared to eat it. A royal insider said at the time, Harry enjoyed a few glasses of wine. When the Queen asked if she wanted something special for her birthday, she said, I have to eat a dunner kebab. I got she wasn't entirely sure which one of them was, so she quickly accepted the challenge. Philip was very surprised. As a Greek, he knew very well what awaited him. The conversation went on and everyone seemed to forget. But last week Crazy Kebab Takeaway in Swaffham, 27 miles away, received a delivery phone order at Sandringham House. Local delivery boy Ahmed Sudoku delivered kebabs to the royal family. He told the Suffolk Gazette. Hope you like it we are known for the best kebabs in Norfolk. A royal source said the queen was expecting something completely different, but she started eating it anyway. The staff told Her Majesty she gave up after eating half of the kebab because the sauce was too spicy. A source said. Prince Philip, laughing, took a picture with his cell phone and sent it to Prince Harry as proof that his grandmother had won the challenge. The queen isn't the only one who likes the occasional takeaway. Prince Charles prefers simple food and is believed to like pizza. He's an important part of this country, so I wanted to give him a pizza, pizza chef Erminio de Mio, who made a pizza for Charles during his trip to Scotland, told the Palestinian news agency. The Duke of Cambridge also enjoys Italian cuisine. He told Radio 1 that he always has a hard time choosing between pizza and Chinese food. But when asked to name his favorite dish on BBC Radio 5 Lives Peter Crouch podcast, Prince William said, Chicken masala, I love it, just a little flavor I'm not the Vindaloo type to say it. It has been revealed that the Queen will not attend the Epsom Derby tomorrow, after a very grueling day of platinum anniversary celebrations. Buckingham Palace has announced that the 96-year-old will miss Saturday's event. This is the second consecutive Platinum Jubilee event that the Queen has had to cancel due to ongoing mobility issues. She was unable to attend the Thanksgiving prayer on Friday. They include double balcony exteriors and flight paths. The Duchess of Cambridge is said to have told those present of a reception in Guildhall that the Queen was enjoying her celebrations. But he also seemed to find them tired, so he cut his schedule. Bolton's Jill Smallwood was with Kate at nearby St. Paul's Cathedral after Thanksgiving today. Mrs. Smallwood said she asked Kate how the Queen was doing. She, Kate, said, yes, she was fine. Yesterday she was very tired, so, the Queen, she had a great time, she told the Palestinian news agency. Prince Harry, who plans to return to the UK next month to take part in charities, is making headlines with his upcoming memoirs and breakup with his royal relatives. Royal commentators say the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's decision to visit Britain will further strain the feud between the two royal brothers, ahead of Harry's explosive book to be released later this year. In his book, Dan Wooten wrote, Anger and disgust at the highest levels of the monarchy, at Prince Harry's decision to move forward with the publication of his next autobiography, amidst the growing health problems of the 96-year-old Queen. Growing email every day. However, a source close to the couple said the Duke would gain nothing from the loss of a royal lover, adding that Harry had no intention of gaining popularity by hurting the Queen or her family. It is widely expected that Harry's diary will contain memories of the Duke's mother, Princess Diana, and of her parents' failed marriage. There is much speculation among commentators as to how Prince Charles, Prince William and stepmother Camilla will be portrayed. What is your take on this matter please tell us in the comments and remember to subscribe as well. Thanks for